What is going on everybody? This is Dave from DGR with another Super Mario 64 Is It Possible Challenge. Today's challenge comes courtesy of Joshua8600. Uh, the other day I was perusing YouTube looking for some more Super Mario 64 challenges to take on and I came across this video that was filmed in 2012. In this video, Joshua does some crazy glitch where he is able to transform a Chukya into a bunch of different objects in Wet Dry World. The quality in Joshua's video wasn't the greatest, but that's not his fault. Capture cards five, six, seven years ago weren't nearly as good as they are today. But I did get enough of an idea of what Joshua was trying to do, and I think we should be able to replicate it. So let's find out if it's possible. So first things first, you are going to need a save file that lets you get into the top level of Peach's Castle. Uh, the level that we are going into is Wet Dry World, which is you know the first level that you see right when you come through the door. So uh, according to Joshua's video, we want to get in on the lowest level, the lowest water level. What some people don't know is depending on what, how high you jump into the painting, it dictates the water level when you start up the level. So we jumped in the lowest section, so we should have the least amount of water as possible. All right, so the next thing we want to do is get to the top of the level, uh, which is where the Chukya is located. So we need to grab the Chukya, and there is a tricky, um, tricky thing we have to do with the Chukya according to Joshua's video. So we want to pick up the Chukya. Uh, and normally, if you throw a Chukya off the ledge, it explodes into, you know, a million pieces and, and you get coins. So what we have to do is throw the Chukya off the ledge, but right before it lands, we have to let the Chukya catch a, and that way the Chukya doesn't uh, explode. So according to Joshua, we should be tapping the A button as we go off the platform. And if done correctly, the Chukya will grab you, which is perfect. This is perfect. I did not expect to get that first try, to be honest. So now we have the Chukya on the lower level, which is right where we need him to be. So now we need to activate this um, water level thingy and uh, get the water level up to the next section. So as soon as we raise the water level, we want to go and grab the Chukya, which he's right over there as you see him. Okay, so now we can grab the Chukya, hopefully. Okay, perfect, perfect. So now we have the Chukya, and now this is where things get uh, really, really difficult. Again, guys, just so you know, I am playing on an actual Super Nintendo console, so if you want to try this out at home, yes, you can use an emulator or whatever, but I try to use the real thing. That way you guys know you can replicate it. So now what we need to do is get on this first set of stairs here. And this is where things get really crazy. I've not tried this yet. We want to glitch Mario out so that he rides along the ledge here and goes into where the sunken city is. So let's see what we can do here. I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Yo. Yo, I think we got it. I think we got it. So now we need to ride this all the way to the end. Oh my gosh, dude. I truly, truly did not expect to get that. This is perfect. This is perfect. Yes, yes. Okay, so the hardest part is now done. So now we need to, according to the video, swim down to where the sunken city or the forgotten city or I can't remember the hidden city, whatever it's called. We need to swim down here, get all the way to the end of the tunnel, and then swim back. And if done correctly, we will load the loading point inside this level and deload um the other section of the level so let's see if it works I, again i've never tried this okay so this is good this is really good this is really good so now mario is not holding anything as you can see the chukya disappeared and now if we do it correctly mario should start to randomly hold different things in his hand so let's see see what happens here Yo, oh my gosh, it worked. Yes. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. I did not expect this to work. Oh my gosh. So now we're holding an item box that normally either has coins or a star. So apparently if we keep doing this, uh, the item will just keep switching. To a bunch of different things so let's just keep swimming and see what else uh, see what else comes up here 
air. We need some air here. Yo, is that a one up? We hold no one up. Yo, we are holding a one up. Bro. Bro, we're holding a one up. That's what it is. Dude, look at that. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Look at Mario holding a one up. That's what it is. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. What? 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 <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, what is going on? What is going on? I don't even, what is this? I don't even remember there being a wooden plank anywhere. What? Oh my gosh, dude, did it turn into a cannon? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, Mario is holding a cannon. <laughs> I don't know how it determines what, uh, Yo! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is one of the coolest things I've experienced in Mario 64. Oh my gosh, man. Yo, okay, so that's new. Now we got the blue invisible cat box. Okay, that that's awesome. That is so cool. Okay, all right, so now we're back to the other box, the breakable box here. Now we got Solid Snake Mario here. <laughs> like, as soon as we touch the wall. Okay, all right. All right, now we got the electric ball in our hand. We gotta take a better look at this one. That is, that is just amazing. All right guys, so I accidentally dropped our item, but that is okay as we have already proven that the item cloning glitch works on actual Nintendo 64 hardware. It is possible. I was so pumped to be able to pull off this glitch that I actually went and did a little more investigating into the whole item cloning glitch. As it turns out, the item cloning glitch is a very, very well-known glitch among advanced Super Mario 64 players. In fact, everyone's favorite Pan and Koek actually made an entire video dedicated to explaining the item cloning glitch. Obviously, Panin's video is going to explain way more than I can, so a link to Panin's video will be in the description as well as Joshua's video. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.